Hey guys, Mario here from MTG Diagnosis, Dr. Bade, Magic the Gatherer by Night, and today we have Brian. Say hi, Brian. What's going on, guys? And he picked up four Jumpstart 2022 booster uh, packs so uh, at the local game store. So we're going to open these on camera. Uh, there's some spicy uh, cards in these. Uh, Brian, would you say they're spicy? I don't know if they're spicy, but I think they're great for uh, building decks. Okay, like uh, if you're new to yeah, magic. Right, if you're new, it's uh, good to put a deck together and play. Nice. So this is a this is a good set for those who are trying to get into magic. Um, so this is a Urza's pack. Urza was probably one, was the original Planeswalker, but also one of the original uh, Wizards of Magic. So this might be the best this one. This is probably one of the best. Oh, card. That's what I'm talking about. So this is Karn Liberating, probably the best, uh, one of the best uh, Planeswalkers. And uh, this is probably one of the best packs you can open for Jumpstart. That's amazing. I can't believe that just happened. That is spicy. Uh, that I take is, that back. That's spicy. <laughs> spicy, spicy pack. A Walking Ballista, which is probably one of the best cards in Magic, too, because of the fact that you can put counters on it and remove counters to do damage. And the fact that you can remove the counters to do damage at instant speed um, is probably one of the best abilities in all of Magic. So uh, I this think, is I think the Urza lands are in this too. Aren't this they? is freaking amazing. <laughs> this is like the best <laughs> jumpstart pack you can open. My luck is turned around for some reason. Uh, Golem Artisan. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Target artifact creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Three three for five. Target artifact creature gains your choice of flying, trample, or haste until end of turn for two. So that's great for artifact creatures. Uh, Meteor Golem, it's a reprint staple, seven for a three, three, and it comes into play. You destroy target and all land permanent in opponent controls. Uh, Planar Atlas, two for a artifact, enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you may look at the top four cards of your library. If you do, reveal up to one land card from among them, then put that card on top of your library and the rest on the bottom in a random order. Tap to add a colorless. So good uh, fixing for your deck. Uh, Urza's Factory. So that's one of the Urza lands, oh, but yeah. it turns into a, uh, or actually, uh, this this doesn't, oh no, this isn't the uh, Urza's Tower. Okay. So I think it they taps, have those lands in here though. Let's see. So this is seven to create a two-two colorless assembly worker artifact creature. So lock wing gargoyle. Um, yep, it's a gargoyle artifact creature one for a zero three that you can pump. Uh, rune servitor. That's the um, uh, another artifact creature. Uh, mannequin, another uh, artifact construct creature. Uh, Thermogist Familiar, another artifact creature, enter the battlefield, scry one. Uh, Universal Solvent, Alchemist Vial, Expedition Map. Oh, there you go. Urza's Tower, Urza's Tower, Urza's Tower, Urza's Power Plant, Urza's Power Plant, Urza's oh, Mind. Oh, Urza's Mind. There Urza's we go. Mind. So this pack. Basically, you take this pack and it's all colorless artifacts and the lands for it are colorless. And these Tron lands are called, if you have all three of them out, they give you more than one uh, colorless mana. So this is probably one of the better packs you can open. I think it's uh, the best pack you can open. You think so, Brian? <laughs> yeah, I think it's the best pack. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Brian, for picking out a good one. Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's see. what Maybe we'll get another Urza's pack. That'd be sweet. <laughs> so they have multiple different types of Urza's. So like, oh, they do? Yeah. So this uh, Jumpstart, you know, they can have an Urza's with that um, Karn, and then there could be another Urza with a different type of uh, Mythic or Rare. doesn't have to be the Karn. Well, so. what's nice about these is you combine two of the packs to make one deck. Yeah, so that's the set Jumpstart. Basically, you take two packs. The packs have the lands already in there, so... Uh, this is a straight black morbid, so... Oh, it's so depressing. <laughs> black, black Reaper from the Abyss. I don't think I've ever seen this. A demon, 6-6 six, six for 6, 3, and 3, and black, black, black. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, destroy target non-demon creature. So it helps you. What is, is that what morbid is? The, if a creature died? Uh, I think morbid, well, I mean, that's the theme. Yeah, but what's the... Morbid basically means... Uh, if a creature died this turn, something happens? I think so. Uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, Disciple rare. of Perdition. 
or mythic. Yeah, you only get one mythic. Uh, Disciple of Perdition, uh, when it enters the battlefield, when it dies, choose one. If you have exactly three life, you may choose both. Draw a card and you lose one life. Exile target opponent's graveyard, that player loses one life. Two for a one, three. Uh, more cut Banshee, four, four, for five for four, four. When it enters the battlefield, if a creature died this turn, target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn. So basically, you want creatures dying, you want you know, sacrifice a creature, so spawning pit, sacrifice a creature, put a charge counter on it, remove two charge counters from it, create a 2-2 callous artifact. So this is one of those decks, this is one of those... Um, you sack stuff for the morbid ability. Sack stuff, yep. Mm -hmm. you, stack, you sack stuff. Cost three less to cast if a creature died this turn. So it's a... Uh, yeah, so it's a 3-4 oh, flying death touch. Uh, suspicious Sambler... Oh, there you go. Tragic Slip. Oh, look at that. That's the anime Tragic that, that, Slip. This is the best anime picture I've seen so far. Yeah? By, by far. I was going to say, Tragic <laughs> Slip. She never would have guessed that her last words would be, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> never would have guessed that. <laughs> uh, you got to love the uh, the uh, the flavor text. <laughs> there you go. Liliana Stewart. Uh, Coilbug. Village Rights. Classic, Reeve Soul, Mortuary Mire is the land, or one of the lands. Uh, there's a battlefield, and you put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. Thriving more, swamp, 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 swamp. So now what do we do? Do a new video for the next two packs? No, we're gonna keep going. All right. And then we're gonna see. We're gonna say we're, we're gonna, gonna build some decks. We're gonna we're gonna um. Out of opening, once we open all four, we'll determine which two packs are the best you would you would make a deck out of. Right. Because there is some, I mean, you also have to think about the synergy between the different. What? Well, there definitely is like, you know, not just some synergy between the different decks. Some cats. Oh, meow. <laughs> <laughs> Love me some cats. Yeah, I like me some cats. All right. Regal Caracal is our rare. Uh, enters the battlefield, create two one one white crack cat creature tokens with uh, life link and cats you control at plus one plus one. It's three three, and have life link. Oh, other cats. Uh, ingenious Leonin, king of the pride. Other cats you control at plus two plus one. Nice. That's really good. Yeah, three for a two one. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? What's oh, wrong with his face? You get green shit coming out of his yeah. face. Savannah Lions. That's right. I was hoping Savannah Lions was going to be in here. Oh, yeah. Classic. Classic. Make a stand. Leonin Snare Cast. And to the battlefield, you may tap target creature. Fellow Dark Club. Bastry's Accolade. Yeah, flying First Strike 2 3. Leonin Scimitar. Crew creature gets plus one, plus one. Equip for one. And it's one. Very <laughs> underwhelming. Very <laughs> underwhelming, but can be. Good on the right creature. Uh, weight of conscious. Wait, weight of it's conscious. Like bastards and type thing. Enchant creature can't attack. Tap two untapped creatures you control. That shared creature type. Exile enchanted creature. What? Tap two untapped creatures you control. That share creature type. Exile enchanted creature. So you can tap two your cats and. Exile it. Exile. I would think. Enchanted creature. So enchant. Oh, okay. Because you control the enchantment still, so I think you get to tap gotcha. the creature. All right. And then planes, 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 planes. I do like the cat deck. That's got some, got some power in it. I do like that, too. I do like that, too. And let's see. What's this last pack here? This is, this is the fifth. It is wolves. wolves. Ooh, cats and wolves. Cats and wolves, <laughs> man. Oh, it's gonna be raining cats and dogs. Wicked wolf enters the battlefield. It fights up to one target creature you don't control. Sacrifice of food. Put a plus one plus one counter on it. It gains indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. Mild mannered librarian. 
uh, this is uncommon and becomes a werewolf put two plus one plus one counters on it and you draw a card activate only once ah. is something on the back no no nope. and then pack song pup love this card beginning of combat on your turn if you control another wolf or werewolf put a plus one plus one counter on it when it, when it dies you gain life equal to its power full of haven arlen voice of the pack yeah, each creature you control that's a wolf or werewolf enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. And minus two, create a two two green wolf. Ferocious pup, bounding wolf, witch stalker, special hunt caller, wolf's query, prey upon, wolf kid bond. This thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven forests so there you go there's the three packs four packs or sorry four packs which all right so i think you know this is obviously the best pack yeah i mean if you get seven men and cast this you pretty much game game and game you win the game right uh plus it's got those lands in there that give you that can and removal spells and the morbid thing and the removal spells. So one, two, two removal spells. And then cats. I mean, cats has good synergy. I think wolves is probably the worst out of the four. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I they're, they're I like these two the I best. I think they're all that you, you'd run those together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or would you run these two I'll, together? I'll play you. I'll play you. Cats and wolves versus Morbid and Urza. All right. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, let us know in the comments uh, which two do you think have the best synergy out of all four of these? Um, Urza's Morbid. Urza's Cats. Cats Wolves. Wolves Morbid. Uh, cats Morbid. Uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you like seeing uh, this kind of content or if you have ideas for other content, uh, oh, you know, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you think in the comments. Just make sure it's uh, PG. <laughs> All right. See you guys next time.